Hello all. In this uh, session, we'll talk about Azure DevOps Service Connection. We'll understand what exactly is Service Connection. We'll see few examples. Later, we'll create Service Connection. Uh, we'll create Service Connection by aut automation and we'll create Service Connection manually. Okay. If you guys are new to this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Okay. Thank you. Let's start. So a service connection enables you to connect to external and remote services to execute tasks in a job. For example, if you want to connect to Azure Cloud, so you need to set up an Azure subscription service connection. Okay. So like you have a Azure DevOps, you need to create a service connection and post that you can connect to Azure Cloud and post that all the resources of Azure you can make use of web app you can make use of azure kubernetes service you can make use of azure containers so in order to access all azure resources and services you need to firstly you need to create a service connection similarly to a different build service or to a file server if you want to connect to a different build server for example if you want to connect to a sonar queue server wherein you want to run a uh, static code analytics so you need to again create a service connection if you want to create uh, connect to a git git repository like github gitlab again you need to set up a service connection so these are few examples by which for which you need service connection without that you cannot communicate or interact or do any and anything so a service connection is very much essential so we'll see uh, further like there are multiple ways of creating a service connection we'll see two ways in which in the first way i'll be creating a u an, a user and using azure ad and we'll set up a service connection the second we'll start with creating a app registration we'll register our app and we'll make use of microsoft identity platform which can provide authentication and authorization to our application and the users on it okay so let's see the second method first we'll create a azure app registration we'll do a app registration and we'll create a service re regist connection based on that okay. let me go back to my portal i'm in azure cloud right now i'll just go in azure active directory i'll go in app registration I'll click on new registration. I'll just give a random name as web app. Okay, I'll keep the default option. I don't have any URL. If you have a URL for your application, you can mention that over here. Okay, so my app, web app has been created. I'll go back to my cloud portal again. So as of now, we have just created and we have just registered our app. It's we have not given any access. Okay, so we need to firstly go ahead and provide a subscription access. So I'll just go. This is my subscription. Pay as you go. If you want to have a look where exactly your subscription is, just look for subscription. And this is the only subscription what I have right now in this account. So I'll just select that. I'll go in access control and I'll go in a role assessment. As of now, this is the only role provided. So this is given to the owner. I'll just click on add role, add role assessments. I'll select the role. For now, I just give a owner access. I'll give my web, web application name. That's web app. I'll select it. Save. So, I've created, I've registered my app. I've given the required access to my app. Now, let's go back to a DevOps, Azure DevOps portal go in project settings 
as of now I don't have any sub service connection in this account so I'll just create a new one so we'll create Azure resource manager service connection because we want to access Azure cloud services okay I'll do it manually this time I'll show you automated automatic way as well so for now we'll do it manually let's go to next is asking for a subscription ID as I go in my subscription overview, I'll get my subscription ID right over here. I'll just copy it, paste it over here. Subscription name, I'll just select my subscription name as pay as you go. Service principle, that this is looking for my app service principle. So I'm in my web app. In this, I'll select application ID as my service principle. Service principal key, we may have to generate a service principal key in, in your app. Go in certificates and secrets. In this, click on new client secrets. Give any name, like I just name it as web app. Expiry, you can select your expiry. Just click on add. We have the value now. So I just copy this value. I'll paste it right over here. Now, tenant ID, again going back in my web app overview we have a tenant id right over here just copy this come back put it over here let's verify and see if everything is working good so here we go the verification was successful now let's give a name to this service pin service connection we'll name it as azure trial okay. give whatever name you want I'll just do a verify and save okay so we have this service connection created okay now if I go back to my pipelines if I want to use this service connection I'll go and release I'll click new pipeline let's add any stage Okay, I'm getting an error now because this settings are required. So we already have service connection created. That's the only service connection what we have created. If I just go in drop down, if you see this, I have this Azure trial created. Okay, I can use this. Okay, I can use this now and we can create a build pipeline. So this was one way in which I have made use of service uh, app registration option and I have created a service connection the other way which we were discussing of creating a new user in Azure AD okay let's go and see that way also okay I am logged in currently as a uh, devops mail at gmail.com okay and my portal if you quickly have a look on my portal over here I am logged in as test.rohitks at gmail so th these are two different account what we are using okay so let's go in my azure ad i just wanted to show that i i'm using two different account my azure devops account is different my azure azure cloud account is different okay now let's go in user now i'll create a guest user i'll create a user based on invite base so i'll name it as devops Email ID was devops mailer at gmail.com. First name I'll name it as devops itself. Last name I'll give it as mailer. This is my channel. If you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe. I'll keep uh, all the information as it is. If you want to put some job information, title, and those things, you can do that. I'll go and click and create this user first. Okay, we have successfully created an user, a guest user right now. And the invitation has been sent on my email ID. We'll see that later. I'll just click on this user. As of now, th this user has not been given any roles or responsibilities. So we'll firstly go and assign some roles to it. So I'll click on assign roles. And I'll click on add assignments. In this app, for now, I just give a global admin role to this user. 
Okay, I've given the global admin role. Till now, the user can't access anything using the pipeline. So we'll go and again add. We'll give access to this subscription to the newly user what we have created. So I'll go and access control roles. So in this, I just have my web app which we created earlier. We don't have that user added. So let's go and add that user first. Add role assessment. Again, I'll give a owner you owner access. If you see, I have this guest user right right over here. I'll select that. I'll save it. Okay, we have assigned the role, but still we cannot access this user cannot access the pipeline. Okay, now go back. I'll open my email. I might have received an invitation from Microsoft. So I'll just go and accept that invitation. This is not the latest email. This is the latest email which I have received. Sign out and sign in. Okay, I'll go and accept it. So done. Three steps what we have done we did over here. We did firstly we created the guest user. We assigned roles to the user. Then we given required access to the user. Okay, in my subscription. Want to have a look if the user is added or not. So here we go. The user has been added over here. Now let's go back to our pipelines. Now let's create a new pipeline again. Let's add a stage. Now this time, just let's refresh it. Now if you go, if you see, I'm getting pay as you go right now. Okay, the subscription which you see below that does not belongs to this cloud that belongs to a different cloud account okay so pay as you go cf7b this is the cf7b this is the subscription what we use so we can see that subscription now i'll select this we need to authorize so what exactly it will do when you click on author authorize in the back end it will create a service connection for you okay let's click on authorize it will prompt you for the user ID and password. Here we go. Okay, let's wait for this author authorization. It may take around 10 15 seconds. Let's wait. Okay, now if you see it's been authorized, we are ready to use this subscription now. I'll show you in the back end what exactly has happened. If I go back to my project setting service connection, you see there's a service connection created. If I go back over here, we can manage a service connection. If I go and click on this connection rules, it will take me back to pay as you go. And it will take me back to the access control wherein it, we can see the access given. Now, if you see, we have a app registered automatically. DevOps Mela web app, it got registered automatically. So la lastly, uh, in, in the pre, uh, when we were doing things manually, even we have created a web app. Now, even in an automatic way, a web app was, uh, our app was registered and a contributor access was given now if i go in the service principle see in the service principle of a app, app application id your tenant id and if you go in secrets we have a secrets created so this is what we did manually the same thing happens when you do it through automatic way okay so that's it from this lecture uh, 
if you guys have any queries if any doubts or if you have any suggestion please put it in the comment box and please subscribe thanks for watching have a good day goodbye